Hi, everyone. I'm Frank Mazzacco, and welcome to another edition of Gopher Talk, presented by Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union, committed to the safety of their members, employees, and community during this time. Learn more at affinityplus.org. And as you can tell right now, we are welcoming back three members of the Golden Gophers who brought back gold from Edmonton and the World Junior Championship. Ryan Johnson, Jackson Lacombe, Brock Faber. Guys, congratulations. Thanks very much for joining us here today. Uh, a, a great accomplishment. Uh, and I hope you're still enjoying it, even though I know it's going to be a little bit arduous for you. Brock, if you don't mind, I'm going to lead off with you since you, you're a bit of the veteran in the USA hockey program. Give us some impressions on, on what it means having played with the development team in Plymouth and, and gone through so much of the American development model to, to win this gold medal. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously there was, there's was guys from all over the place, but, um, you know, the majority of the guys had, had played uh, the two years at, 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 at NTDP. So um, obviously special, it's special for everyone to represent a country or, you know, this country. And, um, you know, for, for the guys that played at NTDP specifically, um, it was always U18 Worlds and, you know, World Juniors that were, were the two big, um, big accomplishments that, you know, guys wanted to win gold at. So, um, obviously, you know, ha had playing there and um, wear the jersey a little bit more. I've been fortunate enough to, to play there for two years. I think it was it was obviously super special, but, um, you know, for everyone, it was just as special, you know, to, to represent the country and win gold. It was, you know, um, something something that you can't really put into words. So, Ryan Johnson, if you want to add any thoughts about that, I'll let you. But I also want to draw you into a little bit about what, what that team meant. Uh, I, I listened to some post-game interviews and, uh, the word love these guys was thrown around quite a bit. The, the team concept really came through. It was apparent to anybody who watched those games. Could you talk a little bit about the support that you all had for one another, and particularly, you know, uh, you and Jackson who were coming in, you know, with a bunch of guys who had previous experience? Yeah, first of all, thanks for having us. And uh, no, just Faber's right on. We're just super thankful and even grateful for the opportunity even to represent our country and especially having three gophers and three defensemen too is pretty cool. So uh, no, you're totally right though with the team. We got along right away and uh, we just came together. We did like Zoom, a lot of Zoom stuff um, online where whether we like ate lunch with a teammate or um, just chatted with the boys, um, everyone was like, there were no really clicks. Everyone kind of hung out with each other and uh, we all ate with each other. And I think, yeah, you're right on when you said, uh, like, love these guys. It's That's what it's about, just coming together, being able to love and just lay down your life for your teammate, uh, whether it's sacrificing for them on the ice or even encouraging them if they if they have the next shift and you don't. So it's just so important. And I think that was a big part of um, how our team was able to come together so quickly and, um, and being able to get it done, too. It was so important. Um, yeah. Jackson, you agree? Was it easy for you to slide into the roster? Yeah, for sure. I mean, these guys <clears throat> pretty much covered it all, but uh, tremendous, tremendous people on that team and um, all, wanted, all wanted the same goal at the end. So I think it uh, meshed well with everyone. And um, like they said, we were thankful and grateful to be there. And um, it, was, it was awesome playing with those guys. So, All right, I put you last in the rotation. I'm going to come back with you, uh, Jackson, with another question. We'll get into some of the nitty gritty of the tournament. Uh, you had one assist in that tournament, and it turned out to be a huge one. Uh, the uh, the pass to Farinacci, which uh, broke the ice with Finland and, and put the USA into a, in a, a rally in that second period against the Finns. Tell us, can you talk us through the play a little bit? Did you see him open at center ice, and how big of a target was he? Yeah, I mean, uh, kind of just happened so fast, but um, just saw him kind of swinging up there and kind of just threw one, not – not knowing if it was going to hit him or not, but uh, no, our team was kind of we were kind of buzzing right before that, and we had we had some good momentum there. So um, being able to uh, to make a kind of a, a lucky play like that was was great. And Notch Notch had a great play to finish it off and a great goal. So I think our team was just kind of getting some momentum going, and uh, we were bound to get one at some point. So um, yeah, it was it was awesome. Ryan, would you take us to the third period of the uh, gold medal game against Canada? I mean, everybody in the world knew that you were going to get pushback from those guys. And boy, they did. When did the coaching staff or did the coaching staff tell you, hey, let's 
now start protecting the lead instead of trying to build on the lead. Yeah, it was funny because uh, in, the, in the intermission uh, before the third, we were talking about not holding back so much like we did um, against Finland, you know, where, where we kind of gave them um, the advantage where they're just kind of all over us just because we're playing so defensive and we're trying not to lose. So our big thing was, well, we gotta, we gotta keep on being offensive. Let's, uh, but let's, let's try to make plays still. And um, let's have poise with the puck and don't panic. It could be easy when you're in your zone just to throw the puck away. So um, we did talk about that, but um, I know the shots were still 16 to one in the third. So um, whether we really carry that out, I thought, I thought still we did a good job though, chipping, chipping pucks and I still think we did better than the Finland game, uh, even defending and stuff. We didn't give them, we didn't give them too great of chances, although they did have a lot of shots. And right. um, and yeah, so I just thought our our goal was to not panic. Um, I think Spencer made some big saves, and I think um, we're 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 just grateful that we we came away with it. Brock, before the game, were you aware that uh, teammate Trevor Zegras had made a comment to the NHL Network that may, um, this is my uh, recollection of what he said, that maybe Canada hadn't uh, seen the best team yet or hadn't been tested yet, and the goalie, Devin Lev uh, Levi, hadn't quite been tested yet. Did you know he made those comments publicly before the game? I did not. No, I, no, one, really, no one really knew before the game. Um, obviously, it was... Um, it, it wasn't meant as as any any disrespect. It was um, more, you know, it was just our mindset kind of going in the game. Like we were confident with, you know, what we had in the locker room, the guys we had, and um, the momentum we had, you know, built throughout the tournament. I think all kind of led up to the gold medal game. We were obviously pretty confident. Um, like I said, it was. I don't think it was it was meant as any disrespect or. Um, anything, I think it was more just like, we're, we're going to focus on us and, you know, what we have to do to try and, you know, win this game. So. When did you know the retro jerseys were going to come out? Uh, Brock, we'll stay with you on this one. Um, I, no one, no one knew until we walked in the locker room. I think everyone kind of had a, had a feeling just cause it was, you know, USA, Canada and the gold medal game. I think, um, we could all assume that, 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 that we were going to get the, the retros, but um, yeah, no, we didn't know. We didn't know officially until we walked into the locker room. So obviously pretty special. Ryan and Jackson, you guys were all told yesterday that it was a day off. Media was told to, that we needed to lay off of you guys. And you showed up at practice for the Golden Gophers. Apparently you didn't get the memo or did you? And you just broke the rules and came to the practice anyway, Ryan? Um, you know what, we, uh, we know we have a game coming up and um, we don't want to dwell too much on the past. So we, uh, we got Wisco Saturday and we just kind of wanted to join the boys again. Uh, we're excited to be back with the team. And um, yeah, I thought it was cool that coach let us on the ice. Um, I had to, we had to kind of persuade him, but then he said he was going to kick us off and uh, he did after 20 minutes. So but uh, it was good. We got to touch the ice and yeah, I'm just I happy to be back and thankful. Jackson, enjoy wearing that retro jersey in that gold medal game. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. I mean, we kind of thought we were going to stick with the, uh, or at least I thought we were going to stick with the dark blue ones because we kind of rolling with those, but uh, yeah, we got there and there was the, the retros and I think they kind of put a smile on our faces and uh, just kind of gave us a little extra motivation. So we were definitely uh, excited for the game. Guys, Thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate your extra time during this busy session. You, you brought a lot of bright light to the United States during a very dark week in January here. Um, and it's just uh, wonderful, your accomplishment and the work that you put into it. Thank you very much for bringing home the gold. Thank you, Frank. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Johnson, boys. Thank Gopher you. Gopher Time has been presented by Affinity Plus. For more information, go to Affinity Plus dot org. I'm Frank Mazzocco. Have a great day, everyone.